platforms have traditionally been thought of as commercial ventures, we believe that they have massive potential to address environmental as well as social goals. And that's why we're really excited to be working with Kadin to be able to convene this group of people across the public, private and civil sectors to talk about how digital platforms and other impactful innovation may drive resilience, drive prosperity within an inclusive and sustainable Indonesia. We expect to be the fourth largest economy by 2045 so, and, and we can only achieve that by using the digital transformation and technology. Uh, so that's why I think digital uh, platforms need to be involved in the sustainable development as well by um, using uh, you know, AI technologies, big data analysis, and all that just to make sure you know, the development, the sustainability development is happening here in Indonesia in all the sectors. So essentially, digital platforms are enablers. We can start by identifying the pain points and we can try to understand what's the problem we're trying to solve. So together, we continue to collaborate and communicate with government institutions and other stakeholders so we can find a mutually agreeable solution as a sustainable policy framework so that they can confidently, all the business, not only digital pl platforms, but most importantly, digital platforms can confidently invest in and support in government efforts, for example, uh, knowing that uh, all the um, contributions will lead for a sustainable. Firstly, I think that digital transformation and sustainability, they are deeply interconnected and they really need to go hand in hand to drive dual value. So to do that, we need to focus on the voices of underrepresented communities like the micro, small and medium enterprises or MSMEs for short. We need to shift the narrative and put them in the centre of these conversations and to drive meaningful value, we really need to collaborate across diverse stakeholders including government, industry players, impact organisations and the communities. I think together we can elevate public-private policy dialogues, we can share domain expertise and we can build capacity. With the platform first approach, I believe that there is uh, more opportunity and room to increase the agility of the policy makings and also Indonesia dreams could become true in the golden Indonesia 2045.